Assalamu alaikum. At first, I am always welcoming you in this session of discussion about turbidity of pond, its effect, and the causes of turbidity, and how can we recover it. At first, we have to know what is turbidity of pond. Turbidity of pond is the presence of silt or soil particles suspended in pond. These are the causes of turbidity. Transparency and turbidity are the two other terms. Transparency means the presence of different type of aquatic feed and uh, different type of particles including soil or seal particle also which inhibits the penetration of light in water. These are not the main factor but main factor is the presence of exclusively soil particle which inhibit the penetration of light in pond water which effect that stops the photosynthesis in water. What happens when photosynthesis occurs? When photosynthesis occurs, then in presence of different type of nutrients and other factors, phytoplankton grows. And when phytoplankton grows, it becomes the feed of zooplankton as well as the producer of oxygen and consumer of carbon dioxide from water and at the same time it reduces the presence of ammonia which affects badly the production of fish. So we have to look after the condition which is turbid condition of water otherwise we will be loser or we have to apply more and more supplementary feed to our fishes. As we are the marginal farmers having more or less a smaller pond and there we have to calculate the expenditure of fish culture and if we not be able to control the turbidity of water then in in no way that we can save ourselves from extravagant expenditure which is required for the supplementary feed. So this is the problem of turbidity in the pond. How can we remove this problem from our ponds at first? by using lime that is calcium oxide using lime which turns into calcium hydroxide after addition of water. Some people or some farmers they may apply 1 kg or 2 kg of lime or calcium hydroxide in their ponds. But if the pond be older one where a great deposition of muddy condition is found, then it shows the presence of a deposition of organic substances in this pond. A in a huge amount which will require more and more lime. Then in case of new ponds it may be possible to apply 1 or 2 kg but in case of older pond there we have to apply more and more and in case of a red soil or a sticky soil in which pond water become more or more muddy or more or more turbid. In such type of ponds, it's very tough to control the turbidity. 
in such a point we have to apply or we can increase the amount of line up to more and more limit that is it may require 4 kgs, 5 kgs, 8 kgs, 10 kgs. Some people may have such type of thinking that when we would ex use excess of line then it may become the that is the water of the pond is simply white like milk and it is unknown to them that originally calcium hydroxide required the settling time not more than 48 hours to 72 hours that is within the shortest possible time or the, that is within three days or two days all the suspended calcium will settle down in the pond bottom we know the people of china they use the line according to the requirement of the pond that is two years even three years requirement at a time in such a way that they dig a hole in a part of the pond in which all the time water touches in such a place they deposit their total lime in this area and they become anxiety free for two or three years in their fish culture. We know that calcium is having double bond that is it can neutralize two soil particle which is electronegatively charged at a time per calcium molecule can neutralize two electronegatively charged soil particle then to neutralize more or less the soil particle of this pond it may require maybe 1 kg 2 kg 3 kg or 4 kg that is the first step during the pond preparation what is pond preparation pond preparation means at the starting of culture we have to prepare the pond to make it fitness for risk free fish culture that is pond preparation in such in in that time if we use any amount of lime 2 3 5 8 10 kg even 15 kg of lime it will have no harm it will be completely free within 72 hours but there is a question if the deposition of lime be on the bottom of the pond then it may become harmful for the fishes in in case of shortage of feed the fish may run after that lime then we can do it that by using any element or any uh, rod or wooden part to make the lime covered by the soil particles in such a condition this is the first one step next one cause is the shortage of feed of fish that is number two second one is shortage of fish feed what is shortage of fish feed that is when the farmers is not capable to assess the amount of required amount of feed for that fish that he is rearing then it become the shortage of feed suppose the amount of fish is 100 kg which requires 2 to 3 kgs of feed but the farmers could not assess the proper requirement of feed so he had used less amount of feed and whether the fish is regularly getting less feed then the fish are to search their further more natural feed from the different part of that pond as more or less fish are searching their feed and to get it from the different part of the pond then the water become turbid so we can assess it what is the requirement of the fish as their proper amount of feed 
that is when after the application of feed and feeding of fish the color of that pond remains standard green then we can tell it the total amount of feed is applied is quite okay but if the water remains more and more greenish or deposition of green algae then it indicates the excess of feed otherwise if the feed is less than its requirement then water will become turbid this is the second cause so in such a case we have to increase the feed to overcome this problem this one is the second problem third one problem is the agitating fish like agitation of fish or agitating fish there are some fishes as cyprinus carpio or carpio they are habituated with feeding during the time of feeding it moves its tail frequently so that there is a there become a great agitation in the lower part or the bottom of the uh, pond which creates the water turbid it is habituated another one is fish is that is labio bata and amurkarp also amurkarp also having the same characteristic because it used its the is the mouth part to have the feet in during the time of taking feet and in the on the other hand in other way when it sucks the feet from the mud of this pond it just plowing having the plowing character like pig it uh, turns over the uh, mud of the bottom which make the water turbid another one is labio bata which have the character to touch its tail in the bottom of the pond and to make a jump and in such a way it moves from hither to and to thither in such a way also the water become a uh, muddy what we have to do now we can do it that we will remove partly or up to certain limit that is that become not the harmful for the uh, pond that is the creation of muddy water we have to reduce that specific fish which creates more mud or turbid the water this one is the third one problem and the finally the last one problem during the time of rain rainy day and time what is that this is so in the rainy day when it is the nature become thundering having different type of sounds sounds of winds the rains and lightning it creates the biological enjoyment or biological opportunity for the fishes the enjoy this situation in such a time the fish requires more and more feed but some people which who forbid the father farmers not to give the any food during the time of uh, rainy time during the time of rain they think the rain is the harmful situation or condition as for human being or any terrestrial animals then it may also be the dangerous time for the fishes they are thinking are quite wrong 
we are not to misguided by the wrong thinking or wrong decision we have to apply the time in the time of rain the proper amount of feed in proper time and another one is rainy time that is when the water falls during the rain on the dike of the pond which create the erosion of the soil particle and diluted it in the water and it goes through the pond and make the pond water turbid in such a condition we have to make the pond or the dike having covered by the grass and we can also some take some step that is the use of mustard oil cake in powder form or diluted form be sprayed over the pond dike in such a way by planting different type of grasses the pond dike become covered by the grasses and which will reduce the flow of water having the soil particle in our pond so these are the uh, causes of turning muddy or turbid turbid pond we can certainly by covering this problem we can overcome this problem so thank you today is no more hope that you will try to do it to make your pond clear to produce or run the photosynthesis at the same time the phytoplankton the feed of zooplankton and supply of oxygen and reduction of ammonia and carbon dioxide from your pond thank you thank you all